Hey YouTube, welcome back to my kitchen. This morning I'm getting breakfast ready for us and today we're having sausage balls. This recipe is really super simple. You could do it in as little as three or four ingredients. I would say the must-haves are obviously the sausage, the cheese, and the flour. I'm also going to be using a little bit of baking powder just to give them a little bit more softness on the inside, but I am using bread flour to give them a little bit of a better crust on the outside. And then I also like to add some extra spices, um, salt and pepper, I add a little bit of red pepper flakes for spiciness, mustard powder, and sage. I think the sage really complements the spices that are already in the breakfast sausage. And then we like, well I, <laughs> like to dip mine um, in mustard. Or Ian likes to dip his in jelly or something sweet, so it's kind of like a sweet and salty mix. It's really good. And today I'm going to be using this whole block of our smoked cheddar. I do a whole block, 16 ounce block, per two pounds of sausage. And then I also do two cups of flour per pound of sausage, so I'll be using four cups of flour today. But if you really like your sausage balls a little bit more biscuity, or if you're trying to stretch your ingredients and get more sausage balls out of it, you can do up to three cups of flour per pound of sausage. If you're mixing three cups of flour and sausage and cheese and it's really still kind of extremely dry at the end, you can add a little bit of milk just to get all the ingredients to stick together well enough for you to make balls out of it. But I don't usually need to use milk when I'm just doing two cups of flour per pound of sausage. Let me set my camera down and I'll get everything going. Now this actually wouldn't be a bad recipe to use pre-shredded cheese if you use that. I'm not this time because one, I'm using home smoked cheese so that obviously doesn't come pre-shredded. But in order to kind of compensate for the cheese wanting to stick together because it's not pre-coated, I'm starting out by mixing one cup of the flour I'm gonna use with all of the cheese, and then I'll add the sausage and the rest of the flour and other ingredients. And I don't want a huge powdery mess, so I'm just mixing this on low. Now I'll go ahead and add both pounds of sausage. to mix this. You can mix it by hand, but I'm just lazy, so I'm using my tools. I'm gonna add two cups of flour and my spices and baking powder and before I mix everything together I'll kind of give it a quick just top mix of dry ingredients so that I can evenly disperse the spices and the baking powder throughout the flour before mixing it with all the meat and cheese. Measurements are not as important for this recipe. And you can tweak it a lot to kind of customize it to be how you like best. We'll do three teaspoons of baking powder. Put a mustard powder. Just put a 
sage, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, salt, and pepper. working my mixer pretty hard which did happen last time I made these in that so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my mixing bowl with uh, just mixing with my hands and I still have one more cup of flour to add but that should be it I'll wait until I get all this dry uh, stuff incorporated before I add any more dry ingredients for our last cup of flour. I found that the quickest and easiest way to get this mixed is just to rip apart the sausage and expose as much of that moist part as you can to the flour. Alright, now I'm going to be making these into balls that are about 2 inches in diameter and I'll be cooking some for breakfast. I'll cook about a, a dozen for breakfast and then freeze the rest. You'll notice they are not spaced very far apart. Um, these are not like cookies and they won't spread out too much so it's fine to place them pretty close together. You don't want them to be totally touching though because the steam when they're cooking will affect the texture if they're too close, but this should be fine. And once I fill my pan up here, um, I'm gonna continue rolling until I fill up, until I use all the sausage and I'm gonna put the rest into this bag and freeze it. I just put the cookie sheet full of sausage balls into the oven. I had set that to 350 and they'll bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. Sometimes I'll bake them at 375. And if they're unfrozen, how they are now, they usually take about 25 minutes. If they're frozen, I'd say 30 to 35. When you go to freeze your bag or uh, whatever you're storing your sausage balls in, you want to make sure to keep them in a single layer, if you can. You don't want them to all be stacked on top in a pile because it's going to be way harder to separate them that way. And honestly, if you've got enough room in your freezer to freeze them on a cookie sheet, that's uh, that will be ideal.
Well guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll see you around again soon.